Hey everyone, it's January 9th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share your birthday with serial killer Dorothy Puente, that's her right there, who poisoned as many as 11 victims. Uh, Puente was born in 1929 in San Bernardino, California, the child of two alcoholics. Uh, she was frequently abused by both parents and was often left to fend for herself and find her own food. Her father died when she was eight and her mother followed the next year, at which time she was sent to an orphanage until relatives took her in living in Fresno. She later lied about her upbringing when asked, claiming to be one of 18 children from a large family in Mexico. And having been to both San Bernardino and Fresno, I totally understand why she'd want to hide that. She got married in 1946, but her husband had a heart attack and died just two years later. To get by, she began forging checks, but was caught and spent six months behind bars. Shortly after her release, she found herself pregnant by a man that she barely knew, and she gave that baby up for adoption. In 1952, she was married for a second time, and this lasted 14 miserable years filled with abuse. She was jailed again in 1960 after being caught in a brothel, and after 90 days, she was released, only to be picked up again for vagrancy. She seemed to turn her life around by 1966 when she began running boarding houses and working as a nurse's aide. That same year, she was married for a third time when she wedded a man 19 years her younger in Mexico City. That marriage only lasted two years due to infidelity, but as it was ending, she opened her own boarding house in Sacramento. Uh, she provided services to homeless and destitute denizens of the area, taking in tough cases that others wouldn't. In the late 70s, she was briefly married again for two months, and she had a habit of hanging out in bars, trying to meet older men who were receiving government benefits. She would get involved in their lives and forge their signatures on their checks to steal their money. She was caught and put on probation for 34 counts of treasury fraud. In 1981, she was running a bedroom in her home, which led to the string of murders for which she was convicted. Taking an elderly boarder, she would collect their mail and steal their social security checks. When they complained, they would receive an overdose of codeine administered through a home-cooked meal. The police were called by a number of her residents complaining that she had drugged them in order to steal from them, but nothing was done. It wasn't until a social worker inquired about a missing schizophrenic man in 1988 that a real investigation occurred, and at that point they realized she had killed at least nine people. She was convicted of three murders in 1993 and was sentenced to life in prison, maintaining her innocence until her dying day, which came in 2011. Uh, in 1998, however, she became pen pals with a man who compiled her letters and recipes that she sent him and published them in a cookbook entitled Cooking with a Serial Killer in 2004. So I hope you enjoy your day, and if it wasn't your birthday, please send this video to somebody whose birthday it is today so they can find out all about their birthday twin. Have a good day.